Okay, time to put an end to this. Priests are fairly harmless. Life potion. Akbar Rock. I never understood what these do. Maybe there's some kind of enchantment thing. If I double click on one, does it highlight anything? Not a good idea. Yeah, I have no idea what it does. Oh. Pretty mad. <laughs> The time has come for me to fulfill my mission. I will go to the ill side bunker now and destroy I Serbius. Or should I say Akbar? new. Was it a map update then? Level 5. Show me what you've got. It's not a gigantic area. Tough bastards. Well, not really tough, dangerous. Have to kill them quickly. More of them. I think we should try to kill them at, uh, as quickly as possible. So, just three. I'm trying to stay in the mana potions. We're getting fairly low on mana. And we're never gonna get a level up from killing these guys. Another level. Two keys. Thinking of throwing away a lot of things just to clear the inventory. Let's see dark. Oh. 
wonder why this mechanic exists. You need to do something here. Hm. What is this piece of paper? Want every new piece of item to be clearly visible from the rest. Ooh, they have torches here. Beloved Aqua. Okay, these writings are created in honor of, in, of my master and lord Aqua. Aqua is the source of knowledge across the universe in all the known dimensions. Establishing contact with his cult was a momentous occasion for our people and marks the point of no return, worship Akba or perish. Because Akba is a god who also symbolizes the power of destruction of everything in the world, he knows how to reward the most loyal of his servants with great powers and punishes all others without mercy. Akba is immortal, however he needs souls to maintain power over the known universe. Collecting souls allows him to spread his wisdom far and wide. A good way to please Akba is to offer him the impious uh, souls who refuse to obey him. Impious, I guess. Impious souls. Although non-believers are our preferred targets, some of us are keen to enter into communion with Akba and offer ourselves in sacrifice. After all, death means nothing compared to an eternity of joy and spiritual enlightenment. A single day of my life lived as a believer is worth more than a thousand years of life lived as an unbeliever. For thanks to Akba, I have seen things which have made me understand the fundamental workings of our universe, things which will be eternally out of reach for non-believers. Ancient Gods, Pools of Noden. Okay, enchant objects, candles, light potion. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really interested in looting at this point. We can't use it in a fight, or is it's it's not strictly speaking necessary. I'm not interested. I'm not. I don't want to work inventory clutter anymore. We're past that point. Oh, no! Yep, lost half my health almost during that time. It's still a weird situation because they're dangerous, but they're not really hard. To Although I guess we can accuse our, the casual approach we can do. It's all thanks to being a mage. Wouldn't be possible with others. Okay, what do I need to do with these? In order to solve this, 
We need to do something. Right, let's try, try. No, oh my God. If he strike, it will not even kill a rat. Trap too. The fact that it's locked probably saved my life. Alchemy. Maybe I should take advantage of that. We would need a distillery though. Potions. Quite a few of them. Yeah, we have 30 life potions at least. you trigger these without just walking into them? and a miniature troll. Locked. Isorbius' personal diary. What can I use this skull? It is important for me to leave the story of my life in these pages, for if something happens to me, it will help my successor to serve the Order's cause well. I have decided to devote my entire life to my beloved Akbar. From the moment I learned of his existence until I draw my final breath, I will worship him. Akbar has given me what no man could ever dream of. I still remember the blessed day I met little... I... what? I met Lord Long. It was in year 240. Immediately we met each other's eyes. A powerful affinity between us became apparent. He was like a second father to me, and I am sure that for him I was the son he never had. Sometime after, when I made my first real entrance to the cult, he made it known to me that I should be his successor. When I was still a novice, he told me everything about the cult and about Akbar himself. He told me that the ultimate goal of the cult was to invoke Akbar into our dimension, that he had laid the foundation to make this invocation ritual happen, but that unfortunately he would not live to see the day of its completion. Thanks to his powerful clairvoyance, he had already seen the hour of his death. He begged me to continue the preparations needed to fulfill Akbar's grand design. When he died the following year, just as he had predicted, his pathetic word <laughs> yeah, pathetic words 
His prophetic words resounded in my mind, and when I had only just been accepted as a full member of the cult, I was made its high priest. This day marked my greatest grief and my greatest joy, the immeasurable grief of losing my mentor and father, and the unspeakable joy of knowing that our Lord's coming was imminent. A long period of research started for me then. I became closer and closer to Akba, as close as a mere mortal can be to a god. I saw what cannot be seen, heard things that made no sound, and felt things that no man could ever hope to feel. Akba gave me more and more power, some physical power, of course, but also a great mastery of the magic arts. Akba is more than a god to me, he is my son, my heir and my nourishment. He is everything to me. Thanks to his supernatural inspiration, I took the reins of his cult with an iron hand. I began by purging the cult of members that no longer served a useful purpose. Unsatisfactory results now proved as dangerous to these individuals as their shoddiness was to ourselves. After this essential task had been complete, I had time to plan every aspect of Akbar's arrival right down to the finest detail. It was essential that our order remain completely covert until it was too late to do anything to stop us. This is when I learned that Talan or Orbiplanax had guessed my true purpose and had desired to oppose Akbar's coming with the help of the Noden. To stop the Noden from getting involved, I made some important decisions. First, I sent an assassin to kill Orbiplanax, who had become too great of a danger. Second, I brought forward the date of Akbar's coming. However, we did not have everything in place to invoke him. Therefore, I ordered that we step up the frequency of sacrificing non-believers by rounding them up in large numbers. Women and even children would do. I had no time to discriminate. Further, I stepped up the intensity of our prayers, encouraging more and more members of the cult to give themselves in sacrifice so that Agba would finally hear our prayers. Day after day, I marveled at the sum of knowledge and power that Akba made available to me. My amazement, Akba promised to give me even more upon his arrival, and that he would leave the destiny of Arcs in my hands. Uh, he's going to destroy the world. He's not gonna leave anything in your hands. Well, he... I'm not quite sure what the end goal there is. Is it a hell landscape for the creatures and the people living here, or is it the total destruction of the world? I mean, he's ah. drinking souls, so he has some incentive to try to keep things going. Locked, locked. I don't have tools to open these. Ah, uh, Bart finally got what was coming to him. Okay. Looks to me that this puzzle is the key. I close the doors. Yes, but only from a very specific position. The reason I'm sort of interested in closing the doors is that uh, I need some way to start moving these, I guess. I don't know what I could do. Okay. Points there. This sort of points there. Everything points. There. Yeah, it doesn't look like. What exactly do we need to do with these? Just 
been no mention of this. Ah. So we're going to go back and gather these stones. We need four more. Naturally, I dumped all of them in my little apartment at the castle. So if someone went there and stole those, we would have been totally unable to do anything. Sort of seems like a shitty thing to do to sort those of those items. Why couldn't they all be here in this facility, for example? <sighs> Leads to this unwelcome situation. Where instead of going for the final confrontation, this has now become sort of a joke where it gets constantly interrupted by something, a constant back and forth instead of just more or less proceeding to some kind of a climax and confrontation. This isn't like this is the worst thing ever, but it's a. I feel it's a failure in properly structuring this situation. I mean, what was the point of having those stones earlier? It seems like you're just creating pointless failure points in your game design. Well, this is only three more. I don't think that's enough. I think we need four. And I have no idea where I could get the fourth one. I might have seen something at some point and not taken it. And this is the situation that can pop up as a problem. Let's say I did an equipment dump at some point. Good, good luck fucking finding one of those now. This could be another multiple hours for you to basically scour the same maps over and over again, find items that... Why did they exist there? Why? I have no idea if I have enough. Have I been encountered all of them? There's pretty much the temple in the upper levels. I can't think of any other place where I could get more. Maybe there's uh, one here that I didn't bother, bother with. I, mean, I have no idea why would I would bother with them. Okay, I'll go and add these, then go on an exploration and mission if it needs to come to that. It just... It just seems so fucking weird. Why would... Why would you do it like this? I sort of have a feeling that people who were behind this weren't all that uh, great game designers at this point. So it might have been their earlier game. It seems like a lot of questionable and bad choices were made. Questionable at the very least. What is that? Ring of General Protection.
usually as well as far as I'm concerned bad game, game design questionable design decisions is that it is it justified do you really have a reason to do that another key pretty sure I looked at your body earlier and you didn't have a key Okay, maybe one of the containers here has the has the missing piece. When things seem to sort of put together a little bit at random, or just because maybe the idea sounded cool, but no fault was put behind it. That's bad design. I'm not saying that all cool things have to be meticulously planned to be a perfect fit for the game, but uh, you usually have situations like these. Why even bother have them if they're only for this singular place? Why have them spread around in other parts of the world? What's the benefit, I guess? What's the positive reason for doing that? I mean, you're gonna have limited resources, limited time to do things in the first place. What is the benefit of breaking them into multiple locations all over the world without any sort of indication that they might be needed later or they might be valuable? I just see it as a you're creating a unnecessary failure point in the smooth flow of things. And for what? What's the what's the trade-off there? What are you gaining in exchange? You you ain't gaining shit from this. We're missing one. Locked. Well, there's still the skull here. That's sort of, uh, it's interactable, but can't do anything with it. Well, no other skull is. Okay, why can't I use actual weapons and spells to kill the thing if I can use a simple small mechanic like that to kill it? Ugh. Fuck you game. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. So. Anyone remember where we happen to see some of these statues? I've seen one here. Three we had. It could have been anywhere. It could have been anything. Maybe I missed it here. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't want to do this. I so don't want to go backtracking at this point. Well, I see two options. The temple... Well... 
could expand expand upon that. There's gonna be the initial temple. There's gonna be this. And maybe the guy's facilities in the castle where he was uh, masquerading as one of us. The game constantly keeps bothering me about, yeah, you're supposed to go and beat the final opponent at this point. And I would love to do that game, I really would, but you're making it very hard for me. Was it two or three? Just want to make sure I just don't have one lying, lying out somewhere. Be the kings. It doesn't really matter if it has anything here, I can't access anything. I guess we're heading for the temple. What else can I do? There's still the observatory. I don't think so. I mean, it's um, it's an item of Akba. I, I don't think he would carry them in his pack. Okay, it's just not that kind of a thing. So it's either the temple or the bunker. Goblins... Big collapse. Yeah, this is probably the fastest way to get there. I'm not a huge fan of this sort of a design system in general, where you can later on say that I uh, hope you paid attention to this when you played it, so, although it seemed totally worthless thing to pay attention to. Hope you picked up every item like this, even though you didn't really have any reason to. I'm sure if you're playing this game, I'll remember it fairly well, playing it a second time, that sort of thing. It, it matters very well. It's, it's like it's designed to screw over first time players. And that just makes it worse in my eyes. I have to go through every corpse to... And what if we don't find it here? And what? Uh... Magic doesn't work. I think it might be this location. It's intended that you can't levitate past this. Oh! <sighs> well, magic should work here at least.
Right. Full blood. No magic permitted beyond this blood. Yeah, these are the. There's uh, quite a few of these fuck mages points in this game. At the same time, every place outside these points here is sort of uh, not in any real trouble. I think the game was very, 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 very aware of that you might have to come back here. Because why else fill this entire place with the seeds? First time, just a couple of priests, now pretty much the most deadly opponents in the entire game. Because you need to come here to look for the fucking pieces of statue. I have no recollection how we even found their. I mean, where they were. Were they hidden or something? Because if that's the case, I gotta just miss, miss some in place. What was here? I think this is basically just had a switch to turn down the security systems. No, extend the bridge. That's what it was. This was barracks area. Might help to review where we found the previous ones, sort of to give you an idea. Where in general do you find them? Or are they used by certain specific people? Like, are you looting them from priests, or are they from altars, or what? Hmm. Uh, at least 36 healing potions. The mana potions are so much. I'd like to make a few. I really don't want to run out of potions. Real alchemist. It's uh, never a problem when we have to face an evil city. Have to face uh, two, three, and it starts to be a minor concern. More than that, and I don't know what I would do. 
potions will help us through it, but uh, without them, we will be screwed pretty bad. And this would be the exit. This is what Hard to see how you would handle it without some kind of weapon capability. I suppose a two handed weapon is more effective, but his uh, speed of attack is a thing. I can't compete with that. Uh, at the same time, I have pretty much as low of a mobile dexterity as it's possible to get. That affects the critical hits and I think attack speed. <sighs> right, this, this, this did not help in any way. So, where are we missing the secret place? What is this? Do this to me, game. I'm not sure if there's much point in continuing the recording. It's just going to be us going back and forth through these places until we basically just uh, stumble upon it. Is I are no longer hostile. Were they ever? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll go to the bunker and I think I'll pretty much want to end it there. Not take another look at it, but uh, if I don't want to, I, so I'm just saying there. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to basically just continue hunting on my own at that point. I don't recall seeing them anywhere outside the Aqua facilities. Not some kind of a casual object that anyone could have. I've sold one. I don't think I would have sold one. Yeah, that's that's very far fetched. I've been very reluctant in general to even use certain type of objects, so I certainly would not have tried to sell one. I doubt you can even uh, sell one if you wanted to. Okay. Where 
Where is it? We've gotten one from the bunker, three from the temple. Need a fifth one. Give the bunker another shot. Um, there is a closed chest in the bunker. We don't have tools. We're not gonna get a level up, so we can't try anything either. Unless we go on a massive murder spree, but that seems like a bad idea. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna go back to this town and basically buy the tool sets. See if we can get the last chest open. My problem with that is that you, you can't just rely on that. So there would have to be a key. Did I miss a key somewhere? Did I put in a key accidentally in my inventory and uh, not add it with the key ring? There's also quite a, at least a couple of enchant item scrolls in the bunker facility. Is there a reason for that? If this doesn't go anywhere, then we're truly stuck. I, I have to go through every piece of aqua crap just to find another one. By this point, all potential excitement and anticipation toward the final encounter is it's gone, dead and buried. Deep under the ground. At the most, at this time if I get to the end of the game, it's, it's just going to be a relief that, that the ordeal is finally over instead of any kind of real satisfaction. And it's another, I suppose, a warning sign. Why, why you don't want to add these pieces of shit situations in your game? Yeah, there's a chance that some people are not gonna encounter this. They'll go through everything smoothly, and they're not going to encounter this. But there's going to be a percentage that will, and for them, it's a, uh, it's just an. an Exercise and have frustration management, pretty much. Just brings the any basically enjoyment you got from the game down, or again. And I have to ask this again: what, what for? What, what was the game? What was the fucking point? Instead of having all of the statues on this facility. I don't know. I can't think of a reason. Not a good reason. Bad reasons, sure. No good reasons. Yeah, even in the case that I'm a fucking idiot and I should have uh, somehow seen this coming, and uh, or I'm I've been missing the last piece here. It's still a, it's a pointless vulnerability in, in, your, in your game. 
if they were all here, at least the search area would have been so contained that it would have been pretty much impossible to or stomp the progress of a player for too long. I mean, there's only a handful of rooms. If there's some kind of a secret here, and all, you know that all the pieces have to be in, in this one side. You're going to find it sooner rather than later. Locked. This is it. I can't do that. It requires a key. I don't have keys. That's the that's sort of the problem. I don't recall missing keys, but naturally I would not recall missing keys. I don't see keys. I have the key ring. The key ring doesn't do shit. So basically what the game is telling me that there's a missing key. Where's the missing key? Do you have the missing key? I can't loot the black creatures for some reason. Key. Well, this is again suspicious, but I can't do anything with this. I have to think that I like this place for the piece of shit is here. And this skull is very suspicious, but I can't think of anything to add to it either. It's just a skull that sort of looks ooh, what is that? It changes the shape of the like there's two points to the skull itself. Mm, oh, what? I don't know. How could you interact with the items any other way? No reason to believe this is anything special though. I mean that it would require some kind of a special interaction. I can't grab it or move it. It's uh, definitely something that it looks like it should be moved. Or interactables through some means. Do I need to add a candle to it? Do I need to light it up? There were candles somewhere. Something opened, but and there's the fucking bot. Something happened. Locked. Yeah, I know it's locked. Ah, <sighs> where? What? Sounded so close up there. And there's the key. Sweet goddamn Jesus. Ah. Oh. At last the time has come. Soon my body will be host Akba, and together as one we will rule over arcs. If something bad should happen to me, I wish to leave this note so that someone else might be my Ah.
Hopefully we can put an end to this now. Pretty level up. Uh, I'll keep durability to myself. Mm, oh yeah, looks like the they are likely final encounter. Right, what do we want? Probably more killing ability. Why not? These are all worthless. It's either defense or attack at this point. Uh, maybe close combat. I'm not sure if we could get more than one point of defense by investing in attack while we have serious deficiency in close combat ability. You come here seconds too late. No! Now I can face you in combat, Guardian. I shall never return to the gold. But you, on the other hand, I will never return. Show me what you've done. Charging himself up to what? Uh, what can I do here? Why is he charged up? What can he do? It looks like ranged combat could be a viable option here. I mean, he's slow as hell. Have time to replenish yourself, recover, and everything. Yeah. What is he doing? He's trying to use his his train. Is that all he does? I mean, I can heal myself pretty quickly through potions, I can just have to slash him. Akbar may have been evil, but he was the only one who could bring the sun back to Arx. Akbar should not have tried to manifest in this dimension. He knows the rules. 
Rules which you too must follow, Guardian. Master, what do you mean? The rules are set in stone and cannot be broken, Guardian. You were sent by the Noden and must return there the moment your mission has been completed. And Arx's son, was his Serbius telling the truth? Do not worry about this phenomenon. Quite simply, it is not within the Noden's power. Also, things may not be as you have perceived them. I know you have been through powerful experiences here, but the power you have acquired makes you too dangerous for this world. The consequence of your staying here any longer could be disastrous. And I have many other missions for you. Allow me to bring you back within our fold. Very good, Master. In the similar vein as the rest of the fights in the game, sort of. Uh, and uh, I guess that makes me a little bit more disappointed about the little frustrations at the end, because <laughs> the payoff is not worth it in any, in any way. It's just you're trying to put the last period on your, your story and you can get sent around uh, back to the temple to do do your thing try to get the, the Akba statues or all of them but this one definitely was um, my uh, mistake at the same time I, I don't again feel bad about it because three of the five were at the temple so there, I, I don't think I made a gigantic wrong leap of uh, logic in assuming there's a good chance if we're missing one there's a reasonable chance we missed one where we got the three others I mean there's no mention of the, the exact puzzle or well it's not really a puzzle you just need to have the sense to try the Akba statues on them but there's no description of the system or what it does or how the statues have been distributed uh, you know, between the bunker and the temple so you, you're left with basically going through the possibilities that pop up in your mind and nothing else you have nothing else to go on but I did notice that there's something odd in the skull I just didn't uh, I didn't realize what the game wants from me basically It's definitely one of those locations that I, I think you either get immediately what the game wants from you or you're stumped there thinking about this isn't how every, any, anything else like this works. And that's sort of the inconsistency I suppose is a big drag on some of these things. But this was a less of a problem because that was something I didn't realize. I mean it's not like I had a candle uh, and I thought about yeah I want to do this how do I do this and uh, I tried to figure that out but I, I feel if there was more consistency on how these things usually are handled you wouldn't encounter quite these many problems. I still think the splitting the statues between the two sides is a, is a fundamentally unnecessary thing and it's just it's a breeding ground for people to get stomped there. Also, the fact that there's no men no mention of what exactly do you need to do. I suppose it's not too hard to figure out because the 
you you're clear that you have to do something there. You can't move them, and you they sort of look like those statues at the bottom. However, the problem is you might not have any statues while at the point where you initially enter there. You haven't thought about them in a long time, and you might have like one in your inventory that you picked up out of habit. Oh, it's one of those things that I don't know what to do with, and then continue on. It's uh, The game doesn't draw any sp specific uh, focus on them in any way, so At the same time, that can be the charm of a game like this. It's it's not treating you like an idiot. It's not the villain doesn't necessarily write a journal about how you should go about defeating. Him. You sort of figure just you have the items in your game world. You have the situations, and you're you're going to have to use your brain a little bit to figure how all of these how puzzle pieces fit together so you can uh, move forward and, and these things. The problem with that approach is that uh, I think you'll, you would need, it would work better with a robust note and journal system. I guess the bigger problem that we had with some of those is the mystery ghost thing. Who murdered and why? Is that you have basically one mention of it in the journal, a very vague one, and that's pretty much all you get until you you actually get the complete, not necessarily the completion notice, but you figured out what happened to the ghost notice in your journal before you finish the quest. So it's not always even tied to the quest finished the eternal entry that sort of implies that you finished the quest. So you can't make your own notes, so, so it's really easy to uh, forget about things. Pen and paper is something you should have. But this is sort of a... This is not that old of a game that, that that was the norm. It used to be at some point, but then the it basically was as we started to assume that everything necessary to complete the game uh, and realize the necessary things about the game are included in the game. You don't need manuals or you certainly don't need to go online to figure things out. And um, that this is that's not the case here. I, I think you can complete things, but. I sort of feel like the manual is more of a mandatory reading than recommended reading. If you don't have the manual, I feel you're just going to struggle needlessly. It gives you quite a good explanation about the mechanics and what the runes do and things like that. What the runes mean and it just helps you quite a bit. I still like this, but it it has um, it's more of an adventure and figuring out the puzzles. It's terrible as a combat role playing game. Absolutely god awful. Just 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 doesn't work at all. Maybe with certain types of characters it might, but with the mage. <sighs> You, there was uh, basically a mix of two, either trivially easy to kill everything versus you can't use your magic and you're totally fucked. And then the end fight where nothing really matters because you have so many healing potions that the enemy has zero chance of ever killing. Every hit he hits you can, you can drop a half a dozen healing potions of that one hit easily and you would still be left with extra after the fight's is over. So no real enjoyable fighting in playing as a mage. Fighter might have been different. I mean the illicit fighters are serious opponents. And I don't know how you would go challenging them. 
I mean, you don't have any special abilities. Naturally, because you're a fighter focused, you can do other things. But I still think you probably would want melee plus magic combo. You wouldn't want to rely entirely on melee. With a range weapon user, I have no idea. You could use invisibility potions and avoid some of them, I guess. I have no idea how powerful the bow is, let alone how often you can fire with it if you go fully for it. The thing is, dexterity does affect your ability to attack faster, the recovery rate, I guess, and likely damage for the bow. So the combination of pumping that up real high could be actually a very capable fighting system. However, I don't recall you getting too many arrows, so. Again, I, I just don't know. Mm, I don't feel like there's any really good uh, character choice that would make the fighting interesting or uh, really enjoyable. It's just adventure puzzle game where you have to fight once in a while. But the fighting is not the focus. And uh, if I would basically now play this while well, I still recall all the solutions and wouldn't have to think about it, I don't think I would be getting all that much enjoyment out of this. Maybe trying as a thief, something like that, something yeah, totally different. But uh, I still don't think this would be all that enjoyable. It, 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 it reminds me of the Ring of Power. A puzzle adventure game where the fighting sucks ass. That's Arc Fatalis. It's still enjoyable, I still think of this fondly. Same as with the Rings of Power, but uh, in all fairness, the combat system is just god awful. I, I can't even think of... Uh, it's hard pressed to think of any other games besides those two where, where this is There's a very great aspects in the game, but how other aspects are just awful, and it's um, it's a very weird experience, a mix of uh, good and bad. Usually, it's either good and average, shit, all shit, shit and average, sort of average, but it's rare to see shit and good mixed in a. Uh, experience like this. I don't know. I still think it's an okay game. Definitely okay game. But one of those games where if you know what uh, how things work out or you're playing using a walkthrough as a crutch. It's... I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's like you might rent it and play it once, but you probably wouldn't want to own it at that point. 